JKG pool or no pool? Hey guys. <laughs> <clears throat> hey guys, JKG here back with another One Punch Man video and today is another episode of Pool or No Pool featuring uh not Suryu. So it's the SSR Sonic. Well that's SSR Sonic. So uh Suryu most likely being pushed to battle pass again. Yeah, so let's take a look at Sonic's skill. So uh, this is the stats, currently highest base speed in the game so far, 120, basic attack is just single target, uh, 3 hits, 120% attack as damage, okay, okay so this is the ultimate, so it attacks a single target enemy in the back row, 5 hits for 600% attack and deals charging damage by 60% max HP of the target. So it's up to 600% of Sonic's attack, so that is the max. So it can deal actually up to 1200% uh, attack, which is pretty high. Yeah, but it's just a single target attack. Uh, heals himself within one round, up to 50% of the ultimate skill damage. So quite a lot of heal as well. Okay, so this is the ultra ultimate when you get his keepsake. So the ultimate damage increases from 600 to 750 percent um, the charging damage is from 60 to 80 percent of the max HP and then up to 800 percent so with the keep sick you can actually deal up to 1550 percent yeah and also heals up to 60 percent of the ultimate skill damage yeah so pretty high damage dealer Okay, so passive, Ninja Revenge, increases speed by 15% at the start of battle, grants tenacity to allies without tenacity in the same row by 20% max HP. Allies that doesn't have tenacity will get the tenacity buff by 20% max HP up to twice per ally. You guys might be wondering where is the speed increase because uh, I've been saying that uh, Sonic is a speed booster. So his speed increase only activates when he's at 5 star, so uh, like his enhanced passive. So when he's at 5 stars, he gain an additional effect which is raises ally units in the same row to 90% of his speed. Effect remains even when Sonic is dead. So at his already high base speed, you give him a monk or flash set. I didn't understand that. I'm not talking to you. Yeah, and then increases speed by 15% and then uh, raises ally units to 90% of Sonic speed which will be pretty high. So yeah, put your low speed damage dealers on the same row and they'll be able to move. Like for example, Drive Knight is the best example because his base speed is really really low. Okay, so pros and cons for Sonic. Let's start with the pros. Highest speed in the game so far. Uh, speed booster for monster team. So for the highest speed, uh, so far I'm talking about including Chinese server as well. So currently only one other unit is 120 speed which is SSR plus king. Yeah, so passive tenacity. So you don't have to use any skills to trigger the tenacity is passive. So yeah, that's pretty good. So big damage plus self heal. Yeah, so that is the pros. Let's look at the cons. So, because of uh, Sonic being pushed forward, Suiru is removed, which means that 70 plus black tickets will be gone. Because when a unit is in the rotation for summons, we'll be able to get black tickets. So, 36 for the uh, start of the month, and then another 36 for the comeback. So, removing one unit means that 72 tickets are gone and also the consecutive login bonus which is about 5 tickets so there's almost 80 tickets gone just because they remove one unit yeah so also SSR plus units are coming soon so after Sonic I think it's just about 3 or 4 more units so it's Awakened Vaccine Man, Hellfire, Gale Wind yeah I think it's just these 3 
after that uh anyway I'm th I think they'll most likely uh, remove Hellfire or Vaccine Man anyway so <laughs> maybe after Sonic it's just Gale Wind and then it'll be SSR Plus so yeah I would say save our black tickets for SSR Plus units because in the future <laughs> uh, most people will be using a full team of SSR Plus so normal LSSR will become obsolete Okay, speed boost only starts at 5 stars, so if you want to get 5 stars, it's actually pretty hard. So if you don't, if you let's say you summon 180 tickets, you don't get any duplicates, you just get one Sonic, which means that you will need uh, a lot of Omni Shots or the Extreme Challenge to actually be able to get him to 5 stars. Yeah, so to actually get the speed boost, you need <laughs> a lot of resources. And single target attack, so these days most units do either AOE damage, either all units or maybe attack uh, entire row or entire column. So single target attack is um, not as useful I guess. And he also has two incomplete attack perks. So if you take a look at the perks for uh, Sonic, his data is already in the game now. So he has two uh, attack 10% perks. But both of them are incomplete, so they are they consist of units that haven't even been released yet. So you won't be able to get the attack perks. I think you can only unlock the HP perks. And he probably won't get an SSR plus version soon, which means that um, yeah, what I'm trying to say is SSR plus requires one SSR and also the other resources but because Sonic is already like a second version we already got one SSR Sonic this is the LSSR so I don't think we'll get a SSR plus version anytime soon which means that it's one less reason that you should be <laughs> getting this unit yeah it's just there for the speed boost I guess yeah so Moving on, so for free to play players, I would say save for Gilwin since he has recently been buffed. So, if you guys didn't know, Gilwin and Awakened Tatsu just got buffed in the Chinese server. So, um, Child Emperor, the SSR Plus Child Emperor, has an immunity to dots, and then I think it's Metal Bat, he has an immunity to stuns, but then, uh, Gilwin and Awakened Tatsu just got buffed. Their ultimate now has a 50% chance to ignore those effects, those immunity. So yeah, it's like a back and forth. Like you negate this and then this one negates that. So yeah, Gilwin will actually be pretty useful, I guess, because he has a 50% chance to ignore the immunity. And also, if you have enough of Gilwin, also save for future SSR Plus characters because they'll be a lot more useful. An SSR Plus core also just released, so yeah, you'll need a lot of black tickets for that. Okay, for moderate spenders, I would suggest don't spend any more on this game. But if you really, really want to, like if you have enough money for whatever else you need, then uh, the usual R&D limited pack, daily pack, at uh, I think it's 2 USD, you can randomly get black tickets or the recently released feature so this boss fund deluxe this is 26 SGD but this gives you 20 black tickets which is actually quite a lot because usual rate okay now, uh, you can you guys can check it out in the shop I don't really know but uh, this one is quite worthwhile but uh, I'm not gonna get this anyway okay now uh, for a new section if you are a gambler or an addict <laughs> okay so first advice you can get help so <laughs> if you are a Singaporean you can call 1-800-666-8668 for the national problem gambling hotline so <laughs> if you are spending without stopping yeah please call that and second advice spend only what you can live without so if you are are in need of money for food or transport or whatever then of course prioritize that don't spend on this game 
for me, I'll only spend gems for the 36 tickets. No, 72 tickets monthly. So, free to play gems, of course. So, I won't be spending any more in this game. And then, step 4, pray to whichever god you believe in. And step 5, yeah, summon everything and hope for the best. Yeah, that's the end of the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, make sure you hit that like button if you did. And also subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you won't miss future videos. And I'll see you guys. See you guys next time. Bye.